24th verse through the 27 verses in Isaiah 53 1 through the 12th verse Revelation 3 18 through the 22nd verse is it hot in here to your own? That's me. It's kind of hot. I thought I was feeling some extra. <laughs> Glory. I thank God tonight because I know he's going to work it out. What did he say in Matthew? 16, 16 and 24. Then said Jesus unto his disciples, yes. If any man will come after me, let him deny himself. He said, now I want you to come on. And this is the way I want you to come. Knowing that you're going to take the steps behind me. We've got to be counted with the saints. That's going on before us. They took these steps. They took a lot of abuse. Ridicule, reproaches, everything. And they waiting on us to come on. We read about them every day. Every time we come to church, we talk about either Ezekiel or John or Joseph or somebody. He said, but it's now is your time to pick the choice to come behind me. He said, if you were to come after me, you got the first Deny yourself. What he say? And take up his cross and follow me. And not only come and deny a little bit, fast a little bit, but you got to take up a cross. What is the cross a symbol of? Nothing but suffering. So he letting us know, pick up your suffering and come on. Because I have to know that you are worthy to come in the kingdom. I want to know how far will you go. Will you go all the way with me? Or will you go a month and stop? Yes. I want to go all the way. And I, and I found out this. If you're having too good of a time, we ain't denying. If the devil ain't giving you a fit, <laughs> you got to get to the place where you know he's going to be there. You wake up swinging. Because you know the devil don't like it no way. And he's the one that's going to help us make it. To get our stripes and wholeness, we're going to take the devil. In people, as well as the spirit world to get us. He said, now once you know that and settle your spirit, he said, and stop fighting, you can die. I think we, we fight. That's what we do. We fight one another in the death. He said, Jesus said unto his disciples, if any man will come, if he would come after me. He had to deny himself, take up his cross, and stop walking. Come on and follow me. Through what? Through your tests, through your trials, through your job, through your home, through your friends, your pals, your relatives, your cousins, everybody. What did he say? For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. And whosoever will lose, lose his it. life. So he's talking about going all the way till you lose your life. Have mercy. Hmm. We got to lose our life. He's telling us up front what we got to do. He's talking about showing up down. And if you save it, how you save your life? How you save it? Fighting back? Holding up for yourself. Patting yourself. Lying when you get caught. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Yeah. Saying you didn't do it when you did. If you save it and don't lose your life, you can't make it. He talking about losing a whole life. A whole death. What did he say? And whosoever will lose his life yes. for my sake, for my sake, shall find it. Yes, God. What did he say? For what is a man 
man profited if he shall gain the whole, the whole world, world and lose his own soul? Yes. Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? He said, if you hold on to any part of this world for comfort or protection, mm -hmm. see, God knows what it's going to take to get the world out of us. He said, we got to overcome the world yeah. and the lust of and the lust thereof. So he knows there are some things about the world we like. So it's going to take him to really show us what it is. A lot of things we don't even see. I believe that. A lot of things right in our midst right now, we don't realize we're in them. It's going to take a continually suffering and a check to see what God is saying to us. He said, but if you try to profit at all, even your blessing, far as you're on your job or whatever life you live in, that profit got to come through him. Because by right, the people on your job ain't going to like you if you're living right. That's right. And Jesus is going to have to open them doors where they close. Work in the hearts of men. What did he say? For the Son of Man shall come in the glory of his Father. Yes. With his angels. Come in the glory of his Father. That's how they're coming after us. With his angels. And then he shall reward every man. Yes, Lord. According to his then works. Then he's going to reward us according to his works. How do we work it out? What do he say? Next scripture, Isaiah 53 and 1. Mm -hmm. Who have believed our report. Now who believe it? Who have believed this report? We can hear it all we want and don't believe it. We don't believe we have to give up no whole life. Everything about us from our head to our feet, he got to kill. Yeah, right. We don't believe that now. That's right. That's right. That's right. But he said, I want a whole death out of you. Everything about you, I want to die. We don't know how to do that. Jesus is going to have to teach us. Who believed this report tonight? What did he say? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? Yes. For he shall grow up before him yes. as a tender plant and as a root out of a dry ground. He said, now I'm your example. You got to believe what I've done. You can do also. And I can't put no more on you. I won't put no more on you that you can handle. If we can keep that as a Right in our face. If I'm in this, I can handle it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If we think like that, we get more quiet. Because when you think, God ain't putting me in this, I can't handle it. So somewhere in here, I can come out. But if you start fighting before you can get in it, you won't know the mystery of the Lord. What did he say? He hath no form nor comeliness. He said, there is no beauty in me. I don't want no hours appearance about you. He got to break that down. Yes, See, because we want to look a certain way. We want to act a certain way. He said, I'm stripping all that because you think you're cute in that. Come on now. Do you ever want to find out if you have, uh, you ever want to find out if you think you're cute at all or you got to exalt it at all? Let him change your whole wardrobe. I'm telling you what I know. Let them take all your clothes and let people give you clothes. And they ain't going to give you a net. They're going to give you something they don't want. <laughs> and, they, and tell you you got to wear this and these shoes and they don't even fit. <laughs> they don't even match. You'll find out how much pride. And I tell you, when we come in holders, that's what he did. I didn't have anything. People gave me clothes and brown bags. And I tell you, it took God for me to put them clothes on. But look like I shot it more then than I do now. Because <laughs> you ain't have to worry about it. If you're cute or not, you know you're not. So you go to praise him. To the <laughs> you just go to praise him. Tell him you. He said, I don't want no com I want no comment on my outsider with no beauty there. But I want the inside person. I want to come in that house to stay. I want to live there. I want to control your very existence. What did he say? And when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. Yes. He is despised he and said, rejected. I want you to men. know this yes, step Lord. is going to take a despising. You got to know what it feels like. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. So you ain't going to really weep until they get here. That's right. 
You don't know what it is to reach for me. He wants us to reach for him. Like, you ever get real nowhere? Nobody can help you. You hurt so you nobody can't, they can't even say nothing. Kids come and want to pat you, it's not enough. You're reaching for God now. <laughs> he said he was despised and rejected of men. And everybody around him rejected him. That's no good feeling now when people don't, don't like you and you know it. You can look at them hating you in their eyes. That's not a good feeling because your human nature has to be fed with some type of love. And fleshy love, we are pulling for more than divine. He said, the reason why you, I want your whole death because I want you to love divinely like I'd love. And I look beyond a whole lot of faults to see the need of the soul. I said, that's what we got to have. The reason why we, we're praying, but we're not here. We haven't picked up the cross and started following him yet. He said, because if you pick up that cross, where I'm at is suffering. And you walk out of suffering into victory. And then you go right on back into suffering to hold the church. What did he say? A man of sorrow. A man of sorrow. And acquainted with grief. Yes, Lord. Jesus. And we hid as it were our faces from him. Yes. He was despised and we esteemed him not. He said, I don't want to have no ex nobody exalt you at all. I want you to see what it feels like to be Lord out of your excellency to the ground. Take you out the front seat, put you to the back. And sit back there. Now, why are you back there? You ever seen one of those computers just run down, run down the numbers? I want to compute your weight. I don't see how you feel when I stick you back in the back and they forget you here. <laughs> it's all right when you're sitting up here and they give you a seat. It's a certain feeling when a person takes you where you want to sit. But when they put you in the middle with some folks who don't even know God, <laughs> will you keep praising them that night? Come on. You'd be surprised how our attitudes change with a change. And a lot of times we ask God for that very thing to happen. I want you to take me up. I want, you to, I want to know you. I want to be closer to you. He said, all right. I'll have to change your whole lifestyle to do that. And I know you love attention. Somebody got to exalt me for what I do. Now, if you don't get that, he said, I'm going to weigh you in the balance. You don't, want, you don't really want to go this way. I said, no, I feel like I want to make it. So let me stick you in this fire where people is going to despise you, they're going to reject you, they're going to talk about you, and you're going to see what it is to be really sorrowful and full of grief. Flesh is going to hate not to have what he wants because you're dealing with the flesh. What did he say? Surely he has borne our griefs. But he said, I have borne your grief. There's no grief that I cannot bring you out. I took on all that you're going to have. In this life. I bore your grief. And carried our sorrow. And I carry every sorrow you're going to ever have in this life. I came to the cross already. But I want you to experience something. I want you to prove to me that you love me. I carry all your sorrow. Yet we did esteem him stricken. Yes. Smitten of God and afflicted. Yes. But he was wounded and for our transgression. I was wounded yes. for you. Yes. And every transgression you can ever do. Yes, Lord. I was wounded. I took every one of them to the cross. Hallelujah. Oh, what a safety place. He said, once you get a real good understanding what I'm trying to do for you, you'll stop fighting. I, have, I was wounded for your transgression. He was bruised for our iniquity. And every bruise that on my body was for your iniquity. He said, all I want you to do is be glad that I am who I say I am. He said, now all I'm asking for you, if you're coming after me, deny this world. Give it up. And let me give you your instructions for your life. And see, if he give us the instruction, it may turn our total life all the way around in one night. He can say, I don't want this, I don't want that, I don't want none of these. You got to be willing in that, that giving up and saying whatever. 
He said, but I want you to understand first that I was already bruised. I was already wounded. What did he say? The chastisement of our peace the was upon him. The chastisement. Hey, glory. My God. The chastisement of, of our, our peace, peace was upon him. Yes. And with his stripes we are healed. I'm going to heal you because I took the stripes. Hey, just hold on to me. He said, uh, this is the second time. He gave me this. He gave me this, I think, in Harrisburg. Tulsa, one of them. And he kept trying to bring this to me. He said, now, you're suffering. You're suffering some. But you're not here. I'm asking for this. I ain't talking about suffering a little bit here and a little bit there. You have a whole lot of good days and a little bit here. He said, it's a constant No. I'm telling the devil, sanctify you for me. Go after her. And I want you to get in everything she got. And I'm going to see what she's going to do. If she wants to love me, she'll step out when she don't see nothing. And she'll get that faith in that spot. If she believes this report, that I did this, it's a true fact that I was a wounded and I was bruised. He said, I will chase him for you, get you to peace. And stripes, those stripes that you saw across my back everywhere and you couldn't even see my face, just for your healing. We don't even know what's going to happen 10 years from now. You don't know if we're going to get sick unto death. While we're striving and really not ready to go in, he can afflict us. We can go through a sickness that was really for our life. You're supposed to get cancer about 10 years from now. That's just in your path to get. He said, now I was whipped for that healing. So when you get to that place and you're striving, I'll just heal you and keep it moving. <laughs> hey, just keep going. He said, you didn't supposed to live four months after you come in home. He said, but I was bruised for your iniquity. I was wounded for you. He said, so now I don't want this half give up spirit. Yes, that's right. See, we into the half giving up. That's right. That's right. He said, because if you really understand what's happening and yes. really believe my report, yes. you look to suffer. Yes. Yes. You think it's a joy to suffer to get saved. <laughs> hey, what did he say? All we like sheep have gone astray. Like sheep that's gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. Everybody's doing their thing. And the Lord have laid on him the iniquity of us all. And he know it. Hmm. And you know it. Hmm. Yeah. But you don't have the right to criticize them. Right. Not on this walk. He said, everybody, he said, I, got the, I have the same blessing for everybody to come this way. They can pick up and come on, way after you start, I get the same benefit to them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So if you keep your eyes in, 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 in front of you, don't look to the right and to the left, you won't get off. Amen. What did he say? He was oppressed. <laughs> he was oppressed. And he was afflicted. He was afflicted. Yet he opened not his mouth. I want you hmm. to learn this class. Yes. You used to fight some of your child up. <laughs> you didn't take nothing off of nobody and that's why it's going to be a joy to see your mouth shut <laughs> Woo, glory. when you cannot fight back he said this scripture here I want you to eat take your time all the things that's happened to you is going to happen to you and what you are allowing to happen so you can put a wall up where I can't come no further. You got to hand that will over for me to do this. When you really get persuaded and say, look, sink or swim, death I'm coming. <laughs> Lay your will down, hand the body over to me, and I'll fix you for the kingdom. But you have to come this way. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. What he say? He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter. No, you're going to get cut. 
And as the sheep before his shearers is dumb. You come so dumb to the ones that are whooping you for me. <laughs> Just lay all up on the table and let them tear you up. <laughs> Just, they said, get over, obey. Just lay over there and let them wear you out. When I get through with you, you're going to be a joy to the angels in heaven because yes. you chose to go the right way. What did he say? So he opened not his mouth. He opened not his mouth. He was taken from prison and from judgment. Yes. And who shall declare his generation? For he was caught off out of the land of the living. Yes. For the transgression of my people was he stricken. Yes, Lord. And he made his grave with the wicked. Yes. And with the rich in his death. Because he had done no violence. He done no violence. Neither was any deceit. I in got his to mouth. weigh your every move. You wanna know how you're gonna make it? If you make it, it's this route. Your every move, I got to weigh it. How you come through that test. Maybe real heavy. Because you can be very quiet and not die. Yes. 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 If you ever get real mad, it'll make you quiet. You get real quiet, won't say nothing. You call that humble. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I learned that one. I thought you was too. <laughs> Can you put a little fire on me? You found out she wasn't humble and all that stuff was stirred up to blow out. To blow up when that time hit. So you can keep pushing that button, the person quiet, you keep on pushing it. Push it today, the next, tomorrow, next week, keep on pushing it. You feel that quietness, and after a while, some in you stand up. You know, like Ella said, you in the meanness said, step back and let me have it. <laughs> hey, let me have this. Just move on out of my way. What did he say? Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. But it pleased me to see you suffer. That first portion have to be a pleasing of your suffering. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got to see you suffering and not open your mouth. For truth, you shut up. Willingly. Not because you're forced. You came dumb because you believe my report. You believe that this is the way to go. So you become dumb in a place where you know they're setting you up. So you sit there and say, well, God, you say you're going to bring me out. There's nothing I get into, there won't be an escape. So how are we getting out of this? Show me how to come out. He may not say nothing to you right at the very day. Then he say, you're coming out today. What did he say? Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. Yes, Lord. He has put him to grief. When thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin. Wait a he, minute. Wait, wait. What do you say now? Go back. Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. Yes. He hath put him to grief. He put him to grief. When thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin. Yes. He shall see his seed. He shall see his seed. He shall prolong his days. Yes. And the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper, prosper. in his hand. Yes, Lord. He shall see of the travail Bell of his soul. Of the soul. And not going through motion. See? So I'm in this great travail. God called me travail. Yes. You ain't been there. That's right. That's Come on now. He said, that soul won't travail yes. when I get through with it. Yes. You'll be quickening in the travail when I finish because you ain't got no power to do nothing. <laughs> when I whoop you down right. He said, when you come in right and really make up your mind you coming, you coming this way. Because flesh from the crown of the head to the sole of your feet stink. And it hates God. He said, you hate me as long as you live it. So that's why I don't trust. You can't trust flesh now. You can live pretty good. And way down the road, blow everything. You wonder what happened. A demon must have jumped me. No. You didn't die, that's all. And this is the day that your flesh said, look, I ain't taking no more. Mm -hmm. that's right. But he said, when you turn yourself in, pick up your cross, and you said, God... But like Esther said, if I die, I die. Yes. I'm going to die trying. Yes. I don't know what's at the end of this dark road, but I'm headed. Yes. I'm going through this dark tunnel. Yes. 
Because you said, who believe your report? Yes. And I believe if I get in it, I'm coming out. Yes, Come on now, church. Yes, we got to start. Now, we dancing around the front. You dancing around the front and getting a few little blows of the suffering. That's that ain't right. nothing. That's right. That's right. He said the suffering is your whole life. Yes, Lord. My God. I don't want nothing in you to wiggle. Help us, Jesus. And the only thing that's going to help you for me is spirits. Yes, Lord. Mm-hmm. And yet you got to love in the midst of those tests and trials. I got to teach you how to love. That divine love ain't like our love now. We can say love one minute and slap you the next. That's fleshly love. What did he say? He shall shall seal the travail of his soul and shall be satisfied. Satisfied. By his knowledge shall my righteous righteous servant justify many. By his knowledge. For he shall bear their iniquity. Yes, Lord. Therefore will I divide him a portion with the great. Yes. And he shall divide the spoil with, with the, the strong, strong. Because he has poured Pour out his soul unto his death. His soul, how long till you die? He said, I got to teach you how to pour out your soul unto this death. Because if you go so long, you're going to say, look, I don't. I don't see why I'm doing nothing wrong. He said, all that crying, and all that fretting, and all that getting mad, and, and they don't like me, and they don't see, and they don't understand. He said, that ain't no dang. That's complaining. <laughs> and complaining, you don't move. When you stop complaining, he go put that, yeah, he, you ever see your mother, she get ready to whip you, said, mm-hmm. she make, she cooking that food, but she ain't going to get that belt laying on she got them switches right over there waiting till she get this food right. That's what you do when, he, when we start crying to God. Lord, look, I, I know you know me. You made me with this righteous seed. You talk all kind of good stuff. See. He studied putting that fire up under there. Put a pile up there. But look at you and see what test. Stick you in this bitch. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Fixing it for you. Because after all that is said and done, mm-hmm. do you love me? Yes, Lord. He said, well, keep my commandments. You believe this? Yes, God. Deny yourself. Yes. What's next? Pick yes. up your cross. Yes. Yes. All right. You pick it. You pick up. You really fully persuaded I can bring you out. Yeah. Well, come on, get in this pot. See? So you climb over that, get on in that in that class, in that test, and you sit up there and get into that class with you and two more folks, and they can't pray you either. <laughs> and you can't say nothing. If they scream to the top of their voice. You got to endure screaming yes. till you can pray it down. Amen. You pray till you bind it. Yes. Don't go up there and say, Sister, please. Please, Sister. <laughs> you got the power. You get over there next to her. That's you right. pray till you bring her quiet. That's right. That's right. That's but see, we can't pray nothing down because we ain't got nothing to pray. That's right. Come on. You can't have no feelings in this thing. That was wrong. We're not dying to really the death. Uh-huh. We fighting one another with spirits. That's I hit true. your spirit, you hit mine. You have to hit and test. You hit me, I hit you back. That ain't dying. He said, that ain't doing nothing but wasting time. But if you really want to come after me, yes. pick up your cross and head for the death road. Yes. You got to pour out your life. And I said, God, when you go on one of those fasts and feel like you'll, you'll be shamed because your stomach making so much noise. He said, hey, just shut up at the while. Just keep it going. There ain't nothing but what's in there making the noise. You continue to purge with water and keep purging it. It gets to a place to get used to it. And that body will come subject that you can take them licks without moving. There are some places, there are some licks you got to take and don't even shake. Then you know it ain't, it ain't in the flesh. Until then, you shaking. That's right. Go on back in there. Say, whew. That's right. Get your little papers and go on right on back in there. That's right. Lord, I plunked that one again. Just keep it coming. Because I died for you. You believe it? Yes, Lord. So come on. Yes, Lord. He said, therefore will I divide him a portion with the great. And he shall divide the spoil with the strong. Yes. Because he hath poured Pour out his soul unto death. Yes. And he was numbered Number. with the transgressors. Yes. And sir. he bare the sin of many 
and made intercession and for the trans all that they're going to say you ain't saved no way. Hmm. Yeah, but you know. You know what you believe. But the Lord, what that next scripture say? Revelation 3 and 18. Yes, God. I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire. I'm counseling you hmm. to buy of me that real gold. <laughs> and it's tried in the fire. Yes, God. You want to be rich? Buy of him that gold. What he say? That thou mayest be rich, and white raiment that thou mayest be clothed, hey. and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear. I don't want it to appear now. He got to cover us with the righteous garment, and we got to do like him. And I got to take you through that fire because you are a jewel, yes. and your gifts must. Be purged. Yes, yes. You got to be clean to carry them. Yes. Amen. So I'm not doing you an injustice. But I'm taking you through the fire because I love you. Yes, Lord. That you can make it. What did he say? That thou mayest be clothed and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear. Do not appear. And anoint thine eyes I, with eye salve. There's a place where I anoint your eyes. That thou mayest see. You ain't going to see like you're seeing now. You won't even see like what people, people said, why are you doing this when you're helping folks? They don't even want, they don't, they don't see that you really care for them. But you got to continue. You ever try to get somebody out of water and they drowning? First thing they do is go to fighting. Same thing with a person that's drowning in the spirit. They're going to fight you first till they find out that you really care for me. Yeah. Then they'll give vent to you. What did he say? As many as I love, I rebuke and I chasten. I got to rebuke you and chasten you daily and every second. Yes, that's right. I think that complaining is the thing. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. When God tells the truth, we all go over that. I don't see that. Lord, I ain't never did that. He says, know that your flesh from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet is evil. So if I tell you it's going to take this test for you, just say amen, step on in it. Because you don't know yourself what you'll do in a certain situation until it hit. We don't know what we'll do. You let somebody steal your car and you're looking at them. You'll know if you plead the blood standing or not. You run down the street, try to open the door right on the side of the car. <laughs> if he opened that door, you jump in, you'd be like the people on television. you holding holding neck. Get out of my car. You don't know what you're going to do. Did it happen? Somebody steal your purse. You come all out of your spirit. After you shout. You see the person in somebody's arm. What you going to do? Just got through getting up. God trusts you now. He, will, he know how to get it out. And he know what's in there. And he know what to do. If you hate for somebody to steal your stuff, you get cold. I mean cold all over. A cold spirit hit your flesh because the anointing cannot stay now. So they got my person. I know what demon did it. It's going to take God to help us. What did he say? Be zealous, therefore, and repent. Yes, Lord. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. I'm at the door and I'm yet knocking. If any man hear please, my voice. Please. Come on. He said, you're behind, you're too slow. I'm about to shut the door, period. Mm -hmm. For you can't get to me. You can feel it, too. You feel that fear. Mm -hmm. You're praying, but it ain't enough. You can feel it. Yes. The Lord, what's coming? The door going to close on up. Jesus. And we ain't going to be able to get to God. If any man hear my but voice. But if you hear my voice. And open the door. Just open that door tonight. I will come open in Open your you. heart tonight. Hey. And said, God, I didn't complain at all by five, six of them grades. But I'm going to pick it up tonight. I'm willing to go through the test now because I'm suffering anyhow. I never mean, suffer for profit. You're suffering anyway. We oppressed, you press, nervous, can't sleep, can't eat. Come on. Are we eating too much? Come on, we're doing something. He said, you're suffering anyway. So come on. 
What did he say? I will come in to him. I will. Who we believe this report. Yes. I will do what? Hallelujah. Come in I'm to coming him. Coming in. Coming in where? In, in the heart. That's why mother come and hit that heart till you yes. feel pain. Yes. Hit you in your back and stop, stop him in his track. <laughs> when mother comes about, she hit you right in your back. Pow! It feel like she's killing you. But you, that demon stop in his track, just kill over. You see somebody just fall. We need a shocker. We need a brain shock. Come back to ourselves and know that God is the one that brought us out the world, brought us in here. So you need a shocker to know that again. Because we think that it's flesh that's doing this. But the spirit is keeping up this far. What did he say? And we'll sup with him. I will come and I will sup with him. And he with and he me. He with me. To him that overcometh. Yes, so. Will I grant to sit I with me in my throne? I want you to throne. take the chance. Hallelujah. To take the step. Just step on out. Because he the one that overcomes. I'm waiting on you. Yeah, your name is written. I call you out. But you got to come through here. He said, you want to come on now while the door is open. Yes. To him that overcometh. Will I grant to sit with me in oh, my Oh, you're going to sit hey. with me in my throne. Even, I, even as I also overcame... And I'm set down with my father in his throne. He said, I also overcame. So I know how to take you through it. I know how to bring you through here. So you got to follow my plan. Even as I also overcame. And I'm set so, down yes. with my father in his throne. Yes, Lord. He that hath an ear. If you have an ear. Let him hear what the Spirit hath said unto, unto the his church. church. Come on. Give me a little bit in Romans 12 and we'll be through. It's going to take that seeking. He called my going back on seeking again. Which we should have never stopped. Mm -hmm. But we have. Mm -hmm. We're about to go into that seek again. On January. We shouldn't wait for January. We starting now. You put some light back in into our bodies. I want you to pick it up. I'm still calling you. My hand yet stretched out. I believe we still got a chance. Right now, I believe that. God just wants to come on. What did he say? Romans 12 and 1. Yes. I beseech you therefore, brethren. Yes, Lord. By the mercies of God. I'm still calling you by my mercy. That he present your bodies a living sacrifice. I want you to bring it all this time. Holy. I'm going to sanctify you holy acceptable unto God and you will be acceptable unto me which is your reasonable service That's all you got to give me and be not conformed to this world I've got to hey. take you out of this world but be transformed get ready to take a flight by the renewing yeah, of your mind let's take a flight out of here he said you got to prepare to get out of here you're too heavy loaded the things of this life it carries a load he said, but I want you to be elevated into the higher place. He said, I want you to be transformed. By the renewing of your mind. I got to renew your mind. That ye may prove. Yes. What is that good. Yes, Lord. And acceptable and perfect yes, will Lord. of God. Why you was born and what purpose are you here? I want you to prove to the world why I called you. You got to show them that God called me for this purpose. To win souls, this purpose. Yes. To evangelize, this purpose. To prophesy. Yes. He called me for this purpose. Hallelujah. What did he say? For I say through the grace given unto me. Yes, Lord. To every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think. Yes. But to think soberly, according as God hath dealt to every man the measure of faith. Yes, God. For as we have many members in one body. There's many members. And all members have not the same office. Yes, Lord. So we being many are one body in Got Christ. Got to be one in Christ. And every one members one of another. Yes. Having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us, 
whether prophesied, let us prophesy according to the proportion of faith. A certain amount of faith. Or ministry. Yes. Let us wait on our ministering, or he that te teacheth on teaching. Yes. Or he that exhorteth on exhortation, he that giveth, let him do it with simplicity. But there's another class of rules. When it's time to even go through the gifts ministry to learn your gift. He said, that's a whole nother class. But this first class, we got to pick it up. Yes. And if you picking it up and I'm picking it up, the cross, and we going through, we ain't having all that fight between us. You suffering going through like me. And we'll be closer together because I need you on this route. I need you because you're my sister and you're my brother in the gospel. Come on, clap your hands for the Lord tonight. Oh, yes, God. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus. Glory. Yes, Lord. Yes, Jesus. Yes, God. I know he walks, walks with me. I know that he talks, talks with me. I know that he tells me yeah. that I I'm alone, yes, God, and all the joy as we tarry. There's none other has ever, ever known. I know He wants, and He talking, and He tells. And all the joy as we tarry, there's none other is ever. I know God walks, I know God talks, I know He tells me. That I'm his own and the joy as we tarry, there's none other as ever. I know he walks, I know he talks, I know he tell me. I'm its own and the joy as we tarry there's none other as ever Amen Let's thank God for the message We thank God for Jesus and our own pastor and Bishop, glad for our own mother stacks, our precious mother Hubbard, to all our precious mothers and daughters and sons. It's a privilege to be back here with the saints of God as she that just healed the floor. That was a good mess. See, if we just learn to eat, that's all it is. Stop sitting and learn to eat. See, when you ain't got no appetite, ain't nothing wrong with the food. Something wrong with you. A lot of time, it's something wrong with your taste. We getting ready quickly. We're going to build our old ways place. Hallelujah. Oh! Yes, God. Amen. We hope and, and trust in God to get us a few sons and daughters. Because Bishop would be on fire if the wall was built. I'm not in a little sense. 88, 78. I may live to get 88. <laughs> <laughs> I 
God is a good God. He's a good God. And we're so grateful for him allowing us this time to be in the city. We don't be supposed to be here. We're supposed to be in the sun. But nevertheless, according to the will of God for me to be here today. Oh, glory to God. And he allowed us to be here with joy. You know, a lot of times when you don't go where you want to go, you get mad and jaws all sticking out. No, I got to open be. You're mad because you didn't get nothing to go. He didn't want you to go if you didn't give you the money. That's the way I take it. Unless then you got to be really up on the enemy. Because so many times he gives hindrance. But I don't believe this was a hindrance call. Amen. I believe this was a call of him. That we check our records. Check your report card this week. And see ain't your report card got some red marks on. And see that we can get it out before judgment. Be up that, my precious daughter. Thank God for Sister Wellerspin. Be going and asking God in secret places so we can build the always places which don't have any strength and don't have any power. So we're going quickly. We're going to bring in a little strip of them. We're going to hit the bill of the old pro- waste place. Proverbs 6, Proverbs 7 and 10. James 4 and 8 through the 10th verse. Hey! I don't know. Come on, Jesus. Well, we think you're going to do something. You don't do it. What did I say? James 4 and 10 through the 10th. First Timothy 2 and 9, Psalms 25, 14. Just a few strippers in always places, which we know we are building. We are going to churches as dead. Just like he took Ezekiel, lock his hair, and let him down in the valley of dry bone. That was something. And then to bring it out, it was the church wasn't together. It was all separated. I think we, as each other, should get closer. That's right. That's right. We too far apart. Right. Come on here. Right. Right. We go in Isaiah 58 and 4. Isaiah 6 and 10, we get a couple of readers. Ezekiel 5. Hallelujah. We may read through the 12. We don't know. Jeremiah 4 and 3. Through the 8th verse. Isaiah 52 and 7 through the 10. Isaiah 4. And Isaiah 51. You know I'm thinking about perfect love. And we were seeking and searching out that new heart. I was in the bed earlier and woke my mother. He said, why don't you search out the TV? I see how many times those seeing that had the new heart. You always jump them call folks deaf. Why don't you find out then some of them that had the new heart failed. At the dispensation of the Holy Ghost. Come on, church. You know they did. How come they had to go and get the second benefit? How come Paul 
had to pray at that Galatian church to Christ. They had to lose something to go get something. Come on now. So I believe, but he said, what I mean when I get through with you. Oh, glory to God. When I fix you up, ain't no way for you to turn back. I'm going to pull the view with the word. And if you eat my word day by day, you'll never turn back. No man can pluck you out of my hand. Hallelujah. Glory to God. No man. So that's the place I'm seeking. I don't want the devil to have nothing that's in me. That he have to come by back for. Let's go quickly. Proverbs 6 and 7, which having no guide, overseer, or ruler, you got start of three. Now, I don't want no junk because I'm here now between two opinions. I want to go to another scripture, but I want it to write one read first. Is that the first one? Seven and ten. Yes, ma'am. Excuse me. Come on. And behold, there met him a woman. Listen. With the attire of an harlot and subtle of heart. Yes, God. She is loud and stubborn. What did you say? Go back to it. <laughs> Proverbs seven and ten. I think I caught old Stella about ten years ago. Stubborn. That she out there put some fire in her. What did he say? And behold, there met him a woman uh -huh. with the attire of an harlot and subtle of heart. Listen. She is loud and stubborn. She loud and then she's stubborn. Her feet abide not you know, he in her house. He can't hardly get over her when he comes out of ark. He can't hardly get a word inside with her. If she want to run her computer mouth, come on here. We in the we in the service. We in school. That's right. You want to learn something today? How that he ended in some way in you, and you didn't find him out till two or three years later. You want to find out? That's what we here for. Yes. Finding out his hiding places, because yes, he is so hiding you don't know it. Unto God, as we grow daily, he'll let you find out where he lives, right in your house. What did he say? Now is she without, now in the streets. Listen. And lieth in wait at every corner. Yes, God. So she caught him and kissed him. And with an impudent face said unto him. Uh, I didn't know he was going to say impudent. Hell emperor. Come on. I have peace offerings with me. This day have I paid my vows. I pay. Why don't you pay God off today? You say that all is good and let him get out of your house. You like to do your boyfriend. Don't look funny. You know you had a boyfriend. Now the hell one now. Come on. What did he say? I have peace offerings with me, and this day have I paid my vow. I paid my vow. Therefore came I forth to meet thee. Yes, God. Diligently to seek thy face, Look and I you. have found thee. I found thee. I have decked my bed with coverings of tapestry. Look at you. With carved works. With fine linen of Egypt, I have perfumed my bed with myrrh, my God. aloes, and cinnamon. 
Come, let us take. At that woman that had that kind of spirit. And we supposed to have the spirit of God. How come my bed can't smell sweet? Stinking bed. You don't lag me, no, huh? Come on, yeah. What did he say? Come, let us take our fill of love until the morning. Listen, listen. Let us solace ourselves with love. Yes, God. For the good man is not at home. The good man is not at home. He is gone a long journey. Yes, God. He hath taken a bag of money with him and will come home at the day appointed. Yes, Jesus. I will do what? I will do what? That verse say. He hath taken a little bag of money with him uh -huh. and will come home at the day appointed. Yes, God. With her much fair speech, she caused him to yield. With the flattering of her lips, you she see forced how? him. And you know people do that in here? Right. Oh, yes, they did. Jazz's spirit is not dead and some of these little no, women come no. strutting. That's reading this strut. You find her spirit in you. We going quickly to the next strip here. Yeah? James 4 and 8. Yes, God. Draw nigh unto God. Draw nigh unto God. And he will draw nigh to you. Come on, talk about child. I just been had a little trouble. And I just been had a hard time. Look like I just can't stay in God. You ain't tried. Every time you tried, you tried with the devil with you. That really made you fail. Come on here. Amen. What did he say? Draw nigh unto God. Yes, God. And he will draw nigh unto you. You think he'll lie? Come on. Cleanse your hands, you sinners. Listen. And purify your heart. Purify your heart. You double-minded. Jesus. He talking to the church. Come on, quick. Be afflicted and mourn. Yes, God. And weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning. Hallelujah. And your joy to heaviness. Yes, Jesus. Humble yourself. Humble yourself. In the sight of the Lord. Right in the sight of God. And he shall lift you up. Every shell is loaded. Come on. 1 Timothy 2 and 9. In like manner also. Listen. That woman adorned themselves in modest apparel. Listen. With shamefacedness and sobriety. Yes, God. Not with braided hair. Listen. Nor gold or pearls or costly array. But which becometh women professing godliness. With good works. Well, see, you got to build us again from this. Too much. Come on. Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. Yes, God. But I suffer not a woman to teach. Yes, God. Nor to assert authority over the man. Let's see, that was a meeting, meeting. These old two cent women, these old two cent preachers. Paul said, I want you to help the women to labor with me, not sell no chicken legs. Come on. There's some don't sell chicken legs. She teaches. Come on here. What did he say? Quick. I want to get a foundation. Because y'all look like y'all been eating crab apples. Everybody look fun. You know, I, I just was with y'all. When was I with y'all? <laughs> I act like two gun Pete. <laughs> I'm the only shooter here tonight. Hey! I'm the only one got the magnet. I'm going to kill every devil I think trying to raise up. Hallelujah! Yes, Jesus. What did he say? Psalms 25 and 14. 
The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him. And now look at here what the secret. See, the secret of the Lord belongs to us anyway. The secret of the Lord is with them that fear that him. That fear God. And he will show them his covenant. Hey. You hear what he say? He will show them. You better read that verse. The secret of the Lord is with them that fear that him. That fear God. And he will show them his covenant. Listen. Mine eyes are ever toward the Lord. Listen. For he shall pluck my feet. How? Oh, yes, God. He the one going to take it out. Glory to God. Come on. Turn thee unto me. Listen. Turn unto me. And have mercy upon me. Yes, God. For I am desolate and afflicted. Listen. The troubles of mine heart are enlarged. Oh, yes, Jesus. Oh, bring thou me out of my... Bring heart. me out. I'm sick of the place I'm in. Bring me out. Oh, Jesus. Bring me out tonight. Yes, God. What did he say? Look upon mine affliction. Look upon my affliction. And my pain. And my what? And my pain. Yes, God, and the pain. Yes. And forgive all my sins. It's not pain what making him say. You be in pain enough, you be setting yourself day and day. Yes, you will. Yes, Especially if you belong to God. Yes, you will. How come these pains are so hard? The regular one says, Shoo. Jesus. He'll let you find every mistake you've done made. Yes. What did he say? Consider mine enemies. Listen. For they are many. They many. And they hate me with cruel hatred. Do y'all hate? I think y'all do. But we're going to get that right, Scott, too. <laughs> what did he say? Oh, keep my soul. Listen. And deliver me. Let me not be ashamed. Don't let me be ashamed because I don't want to do nothing in the dark. I want you to purify me. Even as ye are pure. Sanctify me through the truth. Thy word is true. Yes, God. Blot out my transgressions. Because I want to go all the way. What did he say? Oh, keep my soul. Keep my soul. And deliver me. I want deliverance. Let me not be ashamed. Don't let me be ashamed. For I put my trust in oh, you. Yes, hey. God. Glory to God. I put my trust in him. Yes, God. Let integrity and uprightness yes, Jesus. preserve me. I want you to preserve, not canned. I want preserved. Can, not a bustle. Preserved. You just get to go back to sugar sometimes. Oh, it'll do warm it up. Honey goes to sugar. Just warm it up. That's all you have to do when you're full of love. Just let it warm up. Oh! Yes, God. Yes, God. There is a day that is not far at the blazing judgment bar when I stand before that judgment bar. When that book shall open wide in that morning, by and by, 
Oh, my record. Yes, my record. Gonna be there. There's a day that is not far at that place in Judgment Bar. When I stand before that judgment bar, when the book gone open wide in that morning, by and by, oh my record. Oh, my record job Gonna be there Yes, God Let's read quick Let integrity and uprightness preserve me Yes, God For I wait on thee I wait on thee Redeem Israel, O oh God Listen Out of all her troubles Listen, we want to redeem from all this stuff He praying the prayer he said, I want to be redeemed. I don't want to carry nothing back. No banners do. I want all of them. Pay it off. What did he say? Next, Next and quick. Isaiah 58 and 4. Behold, ye fast for strife and debate. Wait a minute. What verse you got? I mean, what verse you got? Four. Cry loud. Cry loud. Spare not. Spare not. Lift up the voice Don't like you know a what trumpet. we found out, Bishop? We found out the daughter of Zion got a party and a key. I know Bishop knew it. Don't you, Bishop? I didn't know that till that. When was the last night? We are searching the strip. That's why the daughter of Zion can build a fence around the preachers. A wall, brother. So none of these jazz and bells can't get to y'all. You don't like me. She got a key. Just like a disciple to the kingdom. Don't fool yourself. She is somebody. What did he say? Cry loud. Cry loud. Spare not. And spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Yes, God. And show my people their transgressions. Yes, Jesus. And the house of Jacob their sins. Yet they seek me daily. Now you see, if you show your sins, you got a more bad bunch. And they mad. And if you don't tell them, God going to get you. And you got a heavy load like it is now. Look like they want to look over in Jerusalem. You can't look over in Jerusalem. <laughs> Should look up, look right here who I am. Look at me. Like they deep. Looking over in Jerusalem. You won't get that unless you're righteous. What did he say? Yet they seek me daily. Yet they seek me daily. And delight to know my way. Yes, God. As a nation that did righteousness. Look at here. And forsook not the ordinance of their God. They asked of me the ordinances of justice. Yes, God. They take delight in approaching to God. Yes, Jesus. Wherefore have we fasted? Wherefore has we fasted? Don't Say think they. Much good. Said they. And thou seest not. And you didn't get no fear in you. Get mad with Mother Hubbard. Don't speak. You know, we are shouting and ain't speaking. We are shouting got malice in. We are shouting got jealousy. Long as the devil can shout you, he got you bound. But yet you shout. But it ain't none of his shout. What did he say? Wherefore have we afflicted our soul? Listen. And thou takest no knowledge. Take it no knowledge, God. Behold. Behold. In the day of 
of your fast. In the day of your fast. Ye find pleasure. You found pleasure. And exact all your labor. Yes, God. Behold, ye fast for strife and you debate. You fast for strife. The house saying that. You know folks saying, fast is the house saying that. That ain't even an almanac. Holy Ghost don't rare against the Holy Ghost. You might have a, a beautiful voice, but they don't war against one another. But they do this in these choirs. That's a weird, I can't stand them. Because I used to sit and watch our choir. We had three choirs. And all of them was full of the devil until we got them saved. Amen. They wasn't saved to the fullness, but they're saving us to stay in that choir. Come on here. We're getting mad because we don't sing the song we want to sing. I know you. I watched them. If I don't sing that, I ain't sang that. I said, you tell me this the spirit we shouting off of? I said, not me. Sit down. That means you need somebody here full of the Holy Ghost. To control the spirit that's in the choir. Come on here. Because the demons is controlling. We got to get the devil out of the choir. Everywhere our auxiliary is, the devil there. And you got to conquer him. Don't let him drive. What did he say? Behold, ye fast for strife and debate. Now look at here. And to smite with the fist of wicked. Jesus. Ye shall not fast as you do this day. You don't fast like that. To make your voice to be heard on What high. did I say? See there? To make your voice to be heard. Come on now. Is it such a fast that I have chosen? Is that such a fast I call for? A day for a man to afflict his soul. Listen. Is it to bow down his head as a bulrush? Yes, God. And to spread sackcloth and ashes unto him? Will thou call this a fast? Will, they, will you call this a fast? An acceptable day unto the Lord. Is not this the best that I have chosen? Listen. To loose the bands the of The times that I chose. To Little loose the... Little special meeting that we had, we should have no problem. Mm -hmm. Yes, God. No problems. What did he say? Is not this the best that I have chosen? Did I chose this fast? To loose the bands of they wickedness. To loose the band of wickedness out of you first. Come on. What did he say? To undo heavy burdens. To undo. Not to put one on you. He wakened me. Mother stacked them at me going about it. Maybe about two hours of better because it was around four hours. I dozed over about 45 minutes, wake, woke up, couldn't go back to sleep. I said, what is all of this that you're trying to get me to see and to hear? He said that people is full of the spirit of self-righteous. And they full of jealousy. Come on now. Even if you get something that I don't want you to have, you get it, I don't thank you for it. Because I can't stand you. And he said, all of these things comes in the church to bind the real spirit. And if you ain't got enough in there to lose that spirit that got them bound, that preacher can't do nothing. Come on here. Because all of old daughters is evil. You don't lag me. Come on, what did he say? Is not this the fast that I have chosen? Is this the fast we need a fast that's going to break every yoke? Now we got to go back and get that fast. 
What did he say? To loose the bands of wickedness. I want the ban. It's bands of wickedness in the church. Come on. To undo the heavy burden. To undo the heavy burden. And to let the oppressed go free. And let the oppressed go free. And that ye may break every yoke. Break every yoke. Hey, yes, God. Is it not to deal bread to the hungry? You hear what he said? And that thou bring the poor that are cast out to thy house. My God. When thou see the naked, that thou cover him. Yes, God. And that thou hide not thyself from thine own flesh. Will you hide yourself from a person, right? We said that you ain't talking about it. Every time she comes, you got on that same old suit. <laughs> Oh, she got on that same old dress. Why don't you give her one? And don't talk about it when you give it to her. See, a lot of people need things, but they ain't taking from you because you talk too much. What did he say? Quick. Then shall the light break forth. Listen, then if we do these things. Then shall thy light break forth. Thy light shall break forth. As the morning. What you say. And thine health. And your hell shall spring forth speedily. Oh, yes, God. And thy righteousness. And that what? Righteousness. And thy righteousness. Shall go before thee. My God. And the glory of the Lord. And the glory of God. Shall be thy re reward. Yes, Jesus. Next. Yes, Lord. Isaiah 60 and 10. Yes, God. See, then the light. See, if, if the light ain't shining in your heart, in your house is dead. It's dark. You got to have a light that shines. What did he say? Isaiah 60 and 10. And the sons of strangers shall build up thy wall. You hear what he said? And their king shall minister unto thee. My God. For in my wrath I smote thee. Listen, in my wrath. I spoke thee. But in my favor have I had mercy How? on thee. Yes, God. Therefore thy gate shall be open continually. Listen, thy gate oh, yeah. shall be open continually. Hey, hey. What did you say? Because them daughters of Zion are there. Come on now. Come on now. Yeah. Them real daughters of Zion are linked together. Oh, yes, God. Can't be broken. Yes, God. Yes, God. Come on. They shall not be shut day or night. They ain't going to, that's where we need a prayer going. Yes, Lord. Day and night. Come on. That men may bring unto thee. Yes, God. The forces of the Gentiles. Listen. And that their kings may be brought. Yes, God. For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Yes. Yea, those nations shall be utterly wasted. The glory of Lebanon shall come unto thee. My God. The fir tree, the pine tree, and the box together. Yes, God. To beautify the place of my sanctuary. Listen, they, this going to beautify the place of his sanctuary. And I will make the place of my feet glory. Hey. The sons also of them that afflicted thee. Listen. Shall come bending unto thee. He go come to you bending. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. And all they that despise thee. Now look. Now all they that despise thee. Shall bow themselves. Well, look again. Down at the soul oh, of thy yes, feet. God. Look at God. So don't be astonished. Just come on. Let's come out of the Lord above. Yes, Lord. What did he say? And they shall call thee. Listen. The city of the Lord. They're going to call it the city of God. The Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Yes, God. Glory to God. You know, God's the one. Today. Whereas thou hast been forsaken Listen. and hated, so that no man went through thee. No man went through thee. I will make thee an, ex an eternal excellency. Listen. Ooh. Ooh. Jesus, I 
Woo! That really he said, the fellas, you go ahead now, you have all these little poor spirit folks. Everyone be with you, go be none. They ain't gonna hardly tell the difference. Come on here. Because those, there's some voices gonna be none that's so high than mine. Woo! He gonna knock you down like the voice did in, down in Georgia. When I hollered, they went down and come up with the Holy Ghost. Yes, God. Y'all going down to? Hey! Paul! Yes, God. Yes, God. I want these preachers to be nutty and so. Yes, Jesus. To old Jazz, they have to run. That's right. And I'm asking God to do some of it this week. Because in January, we want all of you to get sick. Try to kill all of your demons in this month. Yes, Lord. Come on down. Yeah. Get rid of everything that you know don't please God. Didn't tell him to such me. Yes. The thing that I don't see, you find. Yes, God. And take it out of me. Take it out. What did he say? Whereas thou hast been forsaken. Listen. And hated. And hate it. So that no man went through thee. Listen. I will make thee an eternal excellency. What did you say? A Lord joy Jesus, did of. Did I tell you a daughter Zion was somebody? Yes, Lord. Tell, tell them again. They don't hear good. Whereas thou hast been forsaken you and hated. You've been hate forsaken it. and he will bring you up into two of me. He can't do nothing with us when we got our habits and don't want to get rid of us. What did he say? So that no man went through thee. Ain't no man went through you. I will make thee an eternal excellency. What did you say? Ain't that what Daniel had? I'm going to shoot you high That's that. going to take more than that. It's going to take more for you now than did then. Oh, yeah. I want him to take you further than that. What did he say? I will make thee an eternal excellency. Yes, God. A joy of many nations. Woo! Many generations. Yes, God. My God. Look at God. Thou shalt also suck the milk of the Gentiles. Listen. Thou shalt suck the breast of kings. Yes, Jesus. And thou shalt know that I, the Lord, am thy Savior, and thy Redeemer, and thy Redeemer. Glory to God. I'm going to build up the always place in your heart. Yes, Lord. Come on now. That place where you weak in, that's what I'm going to shoot at. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus. Right at that place where you weak. Oh, yes, God. Let the weak say what? I'm strong. Yes. Oh, let the God. Say yes. Oh, Lord. Do it today. Yes, God. Yes, Jesus. All right. What did he say? And thou shalt know that I, the Lord, am thy Savior. Listen. And thy Redeemer. Hallelujah. The mighty one of Jacob. For brass, I will bring gold. Look at here. And for iron, I will bring silver. See, you know we ain't got no money, huh? Glory to God. We got to fix it so we can do something. Yes, God. Come on, what did he say? And for wood, brass. Hey! And for stone iron. Yes, God. I will also make thy officers peace. Listen. And thine exactors righteousness. Hallelujah. Violence shall no more be heard in thy land. Yes, God. Wasting nor destruction within thy borders. But thou shalt call thy walls salvation. Hallelujah. And thy gates praise. Yeah, God. Hey, hey. Tell him yes. Yes. Oh, 
Lord. Do it, Jesus. Yes, God. Is there another strip? Yes, Lord. I feel it. Did the ocean? Yes, Jesus. Woo! Yes! Let's go. Read it quick. Ezekiel 5 and 1. Yes, God. And thou, son of man. Yes, Jesus. Take thee a sharp knife. I want you to take a sharp what? Sharp knife. And take thee a barber's razor. And cause it to pass upon thine head. And upon thy beard. Yes. Then take thee balances to weigh and divide the hair. Look at here. Thou shalt burn with fire a third part in the midst of the city. Yes, God. When the days of the siege are fulfilled, it, and thou shalt take a third part and take the third part and smite about it with a knife. Jesus. And the third part thou, part thou shalt scatter in the wind, and I will draw out a sword after them. Look at him. Thou shalt also take thereof a few in number and bind them in thy skirts. Bind them in what? In thy skirts. Then take of them again and cast them into the midst of the fire. Yes, God. And burn them in the fire. Listen. For thereof shall a fire come forth into all the house of Israel. What is you, Selfaka? Yeah. Oh. See, our fire coming now. Yes! Oh. Woo! Oh. I want that fire to come in now. Because I feel that fire. Yes, girl. I'm asking God today for just a potion. Just a star of that the root of your problem. I want him to go down under that root and cut it loose. Every demon that's hindering you. Every spirit that got you bound. Mm. Yes! Woo! Yes, God. I want God to do some show now. I'm asking God. You may not believe it, but I want a light in this place. And every time the devil be in you, he'll shine. Through somebody. That's the only way to keep him out of here. To let him know you know him. If he come in. We got to build a wall and we got to build it quick. Amen. What did they say today, Strip? Jeremiah 3, 4, and we be and closing three. out. We asked the minister, Jess said. And the pastor. I prayed and asked God today. I want him feel free. See, you got to give your all to deliver the people. Now, nah, mother, ain't no need to give them a whole lot of words and ain't nothing in it. Your words got to be with fire. Come on now. Whole lot of loose words don't mean a thing. Them words got to be powerful with fire. And I'm asking God, we started off with fire. I'm asking God to sit it down. Oh, yes, God. And revive us again. Set us in our places. And we'll never turn again. 
What did he say? Jeremiah 4 and 3. Mm -hmm. For thus saith the Lord to the men of Judah and Jerusalem. Listen what he said. Break up your fallow ground. Break up hey. your fallow ground. Yes, Jesus. Break it up. And sow not among thorns. Don't sow among thorns. Circumcise yourselves to the Lord. Yes, God. And take away the foreskins of your heart. Yes, God. Ye men of Judah. Hi. Yes, God. And inhabitants of Jerusalem. Listen. Lest my fury come forth like fire. Listen. Let it come forth like fire. And burn that none can quench you. You get what he said? Because of the evil of your doings. Come on now. Declare ye in Judah. Declare ye in Judah. And publish in Jerusalem. Yes, God. And say, blow ye the trumpet. Blow. Yeah, God. Yeah, God. Blow. Hey. Blow the trumpet inside. Cry. Gather together. Gather together. And say, assemble yourselves. Listen, get folk to bring them in here. Yes. Yes. What did he say? Assemble yourselves. Yes, God. And let us go into the defense city. Let's go into the defense city. Set up the standard towards Zion. Set up a standard towards Zion. Retire. Listen. Stay not. Hey. For I will bring evil from the north. Listen. And a great destruction. And a great destruction. The lion has come up from his thicket. You see where he has come up from? Come on. And the destroyer of the Gentiles is on his way. Listen. He is gone forth from his place. He gone pray forth from his place. To make thy land desolate. Hey. And thy city shall be laid waste without an inhabitant. Without inhabitant. No, nothing going to come up. You ain't going to have no children. Because there will be saddest children. Hey, God. Don't you know we got to have some fruit? We going to get ready? We got one strip here. And that's in Daniel, the excellent spirit. And we want this spirit and the spirit that answer hard sinners. Now this spirit, I want to get out of some, some junk. Because I know I got a few daughter, daughters I ain't worried. You done told me. Yes, you do. And I told Salem, I got your number. And it was a private number, but I got it. <laughs> hey! I got a letter from my brother. Ain't that good news? I got a letter from my brother. Ain't that good news? When I read. Made my heart all brand new. I got a letter from my brother. Ain't that good news? I've got deliverance from my brother. Ain't that good news? I got deliverance from my brother. Ain't that good news? When I read it through and through, made my heart. All brand new. I got a letter from my brother. 
Ain't that good news? Oh. And they come forward. Come on, saints. I want God to put us in a spirit. Not where you at right now, because you ain't fit to deliver right now. Give God all of your problems now. And if you owe a pardon, you get it to that purpose. Come on now. Because if it do, you ain't going to last and we're going to pass over you. Yes, God. Hey! I got a love. 